My name is Sandy Porter. I'm a former veterinary nurse. I'm a mother of two children and I'm HIV positive. I was uh, diagnosed in 1994 uh, and back then it was HIV was still considered a death sentence. So I w walked into the office, was given my diagnosis, asked how long I had to, to live and was given the answer of two years. Now that's pretty mind blowing stuff. Um, it completely sent me into shock. My head was racing with thoughts and fears and all I could do was look at my children. They were both three and four at the time and I thought I'd killed them. I thought they had this virus too. So the first thing I had to do was get them tested, uh, wait the two weeks for the results and thankfully they came back with a negative result. My children's journey with my diagnosis uh, has been quite a rough one. From their early ages, the responsibilities that they had to take on due to my illness were astronomical. Um, try and picture you know, my nine-year-old son being the sole carer of his mother um, and being the man of the house. Um, my daughter being a little bit younger, she reacted totally different. She became very fearful that I was going to die, she was going to lose me and became very clingy. I knew I'd contracted the virus from my partner, the father of my children. Uh, he was a bisexual man and uh, obviously for issues of his own he could not talk about it and I think that's one of the things that does happen in uh, relationships is sex and sexuality are really discussed. You know, the openness, the honesty sometimes is lacking and also in dysfunctional relationships and I think that impacts on women mostly because uh, whatever reason they feel fearful to leave that relationship and then that puts them at greater risk. Uh, a lot of women and girls l put that responsibility onto the male or the man of the um, relationship. And I think today, in today's world, it's all about yourself. You need to take control, you need to look after yourself, and if that means saying, well, hey, I'm not having sex with you because you don't put a condom on, so be it. I joined the Speakers Bureau because I felt this need that I had a story to tell. Um, if HIV could happen to me, being a mum at home looking after two kids, how many other women out there could be um, potentially infected with the virus as well? So, and plus that I had two children and I wanted to really get into the schools and educate the kids um, because after all, you know, knowledge and empowerment is what they need. Um, they will play a part in um, trying to slow down this virus, so the more information and education that they receive, the better. Hey!